Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to continue from task two of this project, C -X -C -X -V. So before we continue, let me quickly pass this information. For those interested in our C mentorship program, the course application for the seventh batch is currently open. So kindly go to v12learn.com.ng, which is our newly launched learning management system, and then go to courses. Under courses, you'll be able to see ALX complete C programming course. So because I'm already logged in, that's why I'm seeing continue learning here. In your own case, you will see start learning. Okay, so if I click on continue learning now, so as you can see, I have the project here. These are the first ones created, how to clear repositories, hello world, how to install Betty, all this. These are all the ALX project, as you can see here, we have them on this website. Okay, so for instance, if I want to access this small functions, more nested loops, I will just click on this and as you can see, all the materials are here okay so here as well if i want to access functions and nested loops all the course materials are here so if you're really interested in taking part in this mentorship program kindly message me using the whatsapp link in the description of this video and then i will share a coupon code which will give you a 30 percent discount on this course believe me this course is very affordable okay also if you have a course that you want to sell on this website, you can register as an instructor. Simply come here and then you can click on instructor registration. You can register as an instructor because I've already registered. That's why you're seeing you are not registered as an instructor. In your own case, you'll see a registration form which you need to fill. Okay, so after filling the registration form and after uploading your course, the course will be reviewed. And once everything is fine, we are going to make it available for others to have access to. Okay, so if there is any inquiry you want about being an instructor or enrolling in the C programming course, kindly message me, like I said, using the WhatsApp link in the description of this video, and I will answer your question. And also, I will share the coupon code that you need to get 30% discount on our mentorship program. So thank you very much, and let's continue. So this says we should write a program that prints all its arguments. So all arguments should be printed, including the first one, so which argument is the first one? That's the file name, right? Including the first one, it says only print one argument per line ending with a new line. So let's look at the output here. So as you can see here, after being compiled, when the program is run, see what was printed first, the file name, right? That is what the first argument and then everything follows here. Did you see that? It's got you printed on a new line, can printed on a new line, do printed on a new line, anything. That's how these things got printed. So what we need to do here is to print what the argument that is passed to our function. So all the argument, I've already said that, that all argument are stored inside what v. So it means that what we need to do is to access the content of v now and print them. Isn't it? So let's open the file. All right, so vi, paste. All right, so let's include our scvio. Sorry, hash include stdio.h so here i'm explaining main right so main what does the function do print all arguments so i'll just say print all arguments arguments right so and then what again we have the at axi i'll just say argument count right argument count and then we have at v so I just say argument vector, right? Argument vector. So here I will just say return and I will say zero here. All right, so here I will say int mean and then I will pass in the argument which is int axi, right? And then what? Pointer to a character of Aries which is what? At v. Sorry, array of characters. All right, so here, how do we print the content of v? We know that the argument are indexed in v, right? So we definitely need to use a loop. So we are going to need a loop to loop over all the element of v. And for each iteration, we print the value. We print whatever is at that index of v. So what I'm going to do here is I'll declare i. I'm going to use it for my looping. So I'll just say for. I'm starting from index zero because they said including the first one. So i is equals to zero. So what should be the condition here? What should be the condition of our loop? We know that we cannot loop and exceed the number of argument here, right? 
we cannot loop and exceed the number of arguments. And also, since we are printing everything passed to the function, passed uh, on the command line, then it means that we are going, we are not going to um, to loop below axi, right? So all I'm going to do here is I'll just say i less than axi, right? So this will loop from where? From zero up to the value less than axi. If axi is five, so if you count from zero to four, you're going to get five, zero included, right? So here, the next thing I need to do is what? I will just say i plus plus, I need to increment. So inside this for loop now, I can print. So I just say print f. What am I printing? I'm printing argument and it is in form of string, right? So I just say percentage s backward slash n and I will pass in what? Argv index i. So here, so here what it is going to do is this. For the first iteration, i is zero. So it will print whatever is in v index zero, which is what the program name I've already said that. So if I increment, it will check is i less than axi. Right? It will check. So i is now one. So it will print whatever is an in index one of of agv that's how it will print all the values that agv is holding right all the elements of agv so here i simply just need to return the function i'll just say return and i'll pass in zero here all right so that's all we need to do about this so let's run betty betty yes betty is fine so let's compile the program and let's see if we will get the exact output so paste this all right, so it has been compiled. So let's run this dot slash x. So did you see that we got the file name now because it is the only argument we pass, right? We just call the program. So let's pass other arguments. Let me just copy this and let's see what will happen. So as you can see, I pasted this, right? So let's print. So as you can see, we got everything printed. So the file name first, you can do anything but not everything, just like the way it appears here. Okay, so this is simply how to do this. So don't forget to add commit and push your GitHub and then you can run your checks. So we are going to stop here. In the next video, we are going to continue from task three of this project. So thank you very much. Till we meet in our next session.